Hello people, welcome to the incredible girl. How are you guys doing? I just came home from the parlor, getting my eyebrows and upper lips done, and I'm like, oh my god. Why the hell do we have to go through all these crazy things? Bye, bye, bye! And I was in the parlor, I was acting so melodramatic in life. Then I realized, shit, what if there are people like me out there who go through this similar process? So that's what we're gonna do about stages of getting your eyebrows and upper lips. Stage one. Stage one is the rebellious stage so this basically happens when you don't get your eyebrows or upper lips done since ages and people come and touch you on the wrong side Say, dude like you didn't you get your eyebrows done why you like have mustache on your face on your lips and shit and you're like wow wow what an amazing observation i don't have a mirror in my face and i can't see a thing and if you're really bothered about it being on my face don't like stop looking at me and also, like you're a guy and you have it, so what? I'm like spreading woman rights, yeah, woman equality, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Like, <laughs> stage two is a reality stage. So, stage two basically for a lazy person like me, it comes up after a long time, like very long time, unless and until there is something important the next day, you're gonna meet an important person or an important whoever else it is or you have an important event and then you realize like I seriously can't go out like this because what if what if what if so then you're on the last moment word and this also turns out to be you don't go a day early or two days early like you have an event tomorrow you remember all of this like today the day before at 6 30 in the evening when the shops are going to get closed at 7. The stage 3 is basically the explaining stage. This stage is like when you run your way when you run your way to the parlor and you sit in there and then is the crucial point of conveying your message to the person operating on your eyebrows. This is like the explanation process and you yourself I kind of confused because you didn't get this done since ages. So you're like, excuse me, so I just want to get my eyebrows removed. Oh, sorry. I'm just, uh, I'm so sorry. I'm so nervous. I just want to like kind of get my extras removed. Stage 4 is the reconfirmation stage. Now after the whole explanation, you realize you've kind of messed the whole thing up. You didn't allow her to do what she wanted. You kind of told her like X, Y, Z, minus X, minus Y, minus Z, and so many things up that you yourself are confused what you want. And then you're like, D, did you like understand what I was trying to tell you? Because uh, you know what it's okay do whatever you want i know i have like total confidence in you and you are like the best and i'm wishing you all the best and i know you're gonna rock it you are amazing and i have no borders there on top there and i'm gonna have awesome eyebrows stage five stage five is the time when she's gonna get the thread near your eyebrows and she tries to remove something like this and you're like mom but this is your inner voice. You don't let it come outside because like, hey, we are in a parlor, we can't shout. So stage five is like the controlling stage. Is she like removing more? Is she like removing less? Like thousand of questions going inside your mind. Stage six. Now if you're a person like me who's going to a parlor after ages, dude, believe me, there's like a lot of in there. So when they get remote, it pains as hell and somehow you like overcome stage 5 to let go of all the status and stuff and you are like you know what ah! and you end up shouting like seriously that's what I end up doing all the time. Yardi, just wait for a minute, like wait, wait. Do work karke please rukna. Like don't do it like three, four times. It's like painting a lot. Please. So 
the stage thing is all about you and you and you shouting. Stage seven. Stage seven, you're basically used to the whole thing. And you're like, okay, let this happen. I'm gonna like face it. And you like motivate yourself, like, you know what, you can do this. It's just a matter of a few seconds. And who is gonna meet the person tomorrow? You. Who has to look pretty? You. So, should I like bear the pain? You're like, mm -hmm. Yes. The stage seven, what is it? Can we call it the motivational stage? Yeah, the motivational stage. Stage Hey, Now when the whole thing is done, and firstly, proud of you for overcoming all these stages. So when the whole thing is done and you're finally ready, you get to see the mirror. Now this is another crucial stage because it's like a make it or break it. Two things can happen in this stage where you're either happy about your eyebrows or you're like sad because they are not perfect. Now, so different people react differently. Stage 8 is the reaction stage. So this is when your eyebrows are finally done and you look at yourself in the mirror. And there are like kind of three people over there. Wow, this is like you found it So epic. So coming back, mm. the first person is the mirror observant. Now these ones are the people who go into the mirror not knowing what they're expecting. They're like, mm, 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 mm. Uh, I think they're good. Basically, they don't even know what they're trying to do in front of the mirror, and they're like, uh, 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 uh. that's it. Type two are the people who are happy about their eyebrows. Like, you know what? I feel that amazing. Thank you so much. Type three are the ones who feel better about their eyebrows. How will I go to office tomorrow? How will I go to school tomorrow? How will I meet that person tomorrow? My eyebrows are not perfect. Stage. Stage nine. So stage 9 is the time when you go back home and you're taking your cameras, clicking pictures just to ask opinion from the people. You're like, dude, what do you think? Are these fine? Tell me what. And finally, 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 stage 10. What? Technically there is no stage 10. Now everything is done and you are like, you know what? Why am I being such a crazy girl? It's just a damn You know, you know. So stage 10. So stage 10 is basically the chill stage. Chill. Totally chill. So guys, this is what I went through today when I got my eyebrows and upper lips done. Damn. Now next time you guys watching this video, girls watching this video, my sympathy is with you. Guys watching this video, dude, your girlfriends, your sisters, your friends, friends. Or if you have no girl in your life, I am telling you, please be kind to people to get this done. Like please. Oh, that is it. Keep smiling. Stay awesome. So that's this. Goodbye. I think I look nice in this posture. I should like have made the whole video on this angle. Why am I looking pretty here? It's because half the day is getting covered. Oh, maybe I should diet. What do you say? Do you think I should do a stage video of diet? Do you ever try dieting? Yeah, I did. <laughs>